Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So the weather hasn't cooperated here so far in 2021 on needing to get the things done that I need to get done, but I'm in the mood to restore something. We've got Project Fast Times sitting here in the garage and these taillights are in real bad shape. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and get the taillights disassembled. We'll take inventory of everything we need and we'll get some parts in here. And then in the next video, we'll get them restored back onto the car. Stick around. So at first glance, you can really tell just how poor shape these lenses are in. You can see we got a lot of cracks in the reverse part. And um, you can see that the weather stripping around them is in real bad shape as well. You can also just see just how age has not been good to it. You can see here the weather stripping on the fuel door. It's been hitting the trunk. It's pretty common for these cars. And somebody, when they repainted the car, they did a poor job in taping everything up. So before I remove any of this from the car, I've taken some good quality digital photos. I've got a reference of how everything is fitting before I remove it. Paying special attention to the gap that I have between the fuel door, the left, and the right tail light. Okay guys, to remove the tail light, looks like there's six of these uh, twist caps that we just have to remove from the inside. So we'll take these out and our right side tail light should just come out. Okay, so we should be able to gently just pull out on this. It is kind of stuck. There's been some Mother Nature's Loctite holding this in place for the last 30 some years. But also, this gasket, this body gasket is really hard. And it's, it's gonna hang up along the uh, spoiler and the bumper. Some people go as far as loosening the bumper just to give you a little bit of extra room. I think we can get it out without doing that. And uh, it's fairly loose right now. You just want to be careful not to bust the housing. Because the housing is basically what we're after. I don't think there's going to be much salvaging anything else. said it is hanging up on this body gasket just a touch and it's just where it's so deteriorated and tough So right here's our view from the top side with the light housing basically removed from the car. At this point, our sockets should just twist and we should be able to just pull them straight out. There should be another one right here in the corner. One more right here. Right here's the right side. So now we'll go ahead and get this over to the workbench and we'll start on the left side. All right, so I'm missing one on this far side of the housing. So this housing may be damaged. Let's see if we can't get it out.
take a chance in messing this housing up. It could already be messed up because we are missing this stud and I'm not able to get in there and push like I wanted to. I could probably come in and push on the lens, but there's a reflector piece here and I'm hoping I can reuse that. Those are sold separately. I'm not sure if they come with the new lenses or not. And, um, you know, I just don't want to take a chance. So we're going to drop the bumper and probably remove these bumper strips. And then uh, we should be able to get this out a little bit easier. We'll go ahead and take our bumper strips off before we remove the lower bolts on the bumper. Yeah, these are really bad. Crusty. Probably ought to figure replacing these as well. So I dropped the bumper down and uh, I say, let's just be thankful that we're just not changing bulbs or I would be kind of upset right now. But that's just the way this stuff goes. You get into it, it's been put together for years. It's rusty, it's crusty. And um, yeah, so it's just part of it. I've got enough space here to get underneath here. And uh, this thing should just come out with ease now. Go ahead and unclip our wiring harness just like before. Right here's our piece. We worked hard getting it out. We took our time. Unfortunately, my fear for this housing has been confirmed. It is busted right there. And that's why we didn't have one of these that I could push on. I kind of thought maybe that's what it was, but I was hoping for the best. And um, so it looks like I may end up needing a left side housing as well. Kind of sucks because it means the price just keeps going up. But uh, you know, that is restoration work. You don't know till you get into it. And uh, like I said, uh, this stuff don't come apart very easily. All right guys, so we got these parts on the bench and we're going to go ahead and uh, get our housing disassembled, take an inventory of what we need and we'll get some parts in here. Go ahead and get these studs off. Next we'll get our screws here. This piece doesn't look to be in too bad a shape. They do make these in uh, aftermarket. This one may be okay. One thing you want to notice is just how this gasket, this body gasket goes around this tail light lens, especially right here on the bottom corner. It doesn't wrap around the lens. It kind of just takes a shortcut over and um, I think at this point our lens should just pop off of here. The lens kind of pinches down over this outer body gasket so I'm going to try to break the seal.
stuff is very brittle. All I'm after at this point is just trying to protect this housing. Somebody may have been here before. There's some type of silicone on this inner gasket. That's why it's fighting us so hard. This is our inner gasket as you can see somebody has put silicone in here I was under the understanding that this was installed dry but maybe I'm wrong if we'd have known that we could have used a heat gun that maybe would have come off a little bit easier this is that little reflective piece I was telling you about This one looks to be okay. I don't know if these come with the new lenses or not. We'll have to find out. I've got some NOS lenses over there that, that these are not in. So as you can see, this lens here is pretty much junk. The, uh, the outer body gaskets, junk. The inner gasket, Jump. So basically we did all that for three pieces. I'm just popping this uh, left side off now and uh, it doesn't look like it's nearly as stuck as that other side was. Maybe right here in the corner. It's like new. See here, no there's no silicone on this one. So somebody had been in that right side before. They had had a leak. So there's our inner gasket. Guys, appreciate everybody following along. If you haven't subscribed and you like this content, please consider doing so. If you want to see how this turns out, be sure to hit this end screen right here. 